Hey guys, Charles here with D2APDesigns.com and I'm going to be bringing you another Cinema 4D tutorial. Um, this time it's going to be covering uh, a 2D animation or intro. Um, I'm going to be showing you the techniques I use to uh, create the 2D animation um, or intro if you want to use it for that that I um, put up for download the other day. Um, if you don't know what I'm talking about, I uploaded a uh, template for you guys to check out and use if you want. Um, I'll leave a link to it in the description. You guys can go check that video out and uh, maybe download it if you want. So anyway, let me jump right in. Um, I guess the first thing I'll cover is the unfolding um, the unfolding thing that I did. I, I don't really know how to describe it to you. It's just an unfolding effect. And um, uh, before I do this, let me just say that I don't want a bunch of people hating on me saying I copied things from tutorials. There's a ton of tutorials on this multiple people have done it so you know i'm just another person trying to help people out and uh, do a tutorial so uh, i'm going to be showing you a lot of other things along with this so sit tight and uh, enjoy if you know how to do this already just skip ahead so i'm grabbing out a plane here i'm going to go ahead and rotate it 90 degrees and uh, what we want to do is make it editable then go right here click on that we're going to hold shift and drag this over Oop, there we go now hold shift and drag it over right to the edge right there and then we're gonna go back here and now let's go ahead and grab a cloner object drag the plane to the cloner object and then I'm gonna do grid array one um, one actually wait a second there we go set those to one and then um, we're gonna need to stretch this out to 800. Just type in 800. Um, and then let's rotate it on end here. Move it over. Now keep in mind, you'll have to um, change it depending on the size, but um, since this is um, 200 by uh, 200, um, we'd have to increase it by 200 so if we add in a fourth here um we'll have to increase it or excuse me before i said we have to increase it by 200 we actually have to increase it by 400 so if we add in a fourth here we'll have to increase it by 400. see if we, if we add in a fifth we'll have to increase it by another 400. see that so you'll have to adjust according to um, the size of the plane um, anyway so let me go ahead and show you guys how we did how we do this um, we're going to go to the cloner object and we're going to make this editable now and now as you can see we have a bunch of planes set up and we'll have to keyframe these now this takes a little bit of time but um, once you've got everything keyframed you can just um, make duplicates of it so you don't have to you know keyframe a whole another row you can just make a duplicate Put the row down below the uh, top row and so on and so forth and you can rotate it change the angle and all that stuff so anyway um let's go ahead and start animating so first thing we want to do is uh, set up the rotation so we're going to go ahead and place it or let's go ahead and rotate it out i'm going to say about uh, 75 degrees um it doesn't have to be 75 just depends on what you want and uh, I'm going to place a keyframe now. Get out of here. This thing. Okay. And now let's move ahead a few spaces. And then go back. Okay. So there we go. There's the unfolding. Now what we want to do is um, go to coordinates. And then um, I'm going to place, or I'm going to make this zero. And uh, place a keyframe and then once we go forward here you can see it goes to full size and then folds and then we're gonna have to do that on every single one you can't um you can't just copy these and paste them on here because it'll move the um coordinate of this back to where this one is so it'll just look it's like it's unfolding in one spot you actually have to go and through this and do it on every single one that's the only reason why it takes um kind of long this is probably the most tedious part of the whole thing so um, now we're just going to do the same thing to this one. Um, since you already know how to do it, I'm just going to go ahead and um, pause this and then come back when it's done. 
All right, guys, I'm back, and um, I just finished animating the stuff, so uh, there it is. Now, that's a little fast. Probably should have keyframed it a little, um, or we should have spaced the keyframes a little wider, but um, that'll do. I mean, and then like I was saying before, we can just go ahead and duplicate this and then drag it down here and then there we go just like that um, so next let's go to another thing um, actually you know what rather than deleting those I'll just leave them in like that and then let's move this up Yeah, we'll go with that. Move that one up. There we go. So now we have a wall. As so. So there we go. So there's that. And now let's make the um, circles that um, zoom out. I'm just going to uh, go ahead and place a camera right here. Um, zero, zero, there we go, that'll work, there, okay, so now let's do the disks, so all I did was I just grabbed a disk, moved it like this, 90 degrees, and uh, let me see here, I just moved it a little bit forward, like that. And um, let's see here. So this unfolds. And then I guess about 24, I want it to go full size. So we'll just shrink, we'll just put this to zero. Um, control click on that to set a keyframe. Scrub ahead a little bit. And then we'll do 1000. Go bigger than that. There. Yeah, we'll do that. And then keyframe. So there. Normally, um, you'd want to center this, but you know this is just a tutorial. I don't want to waste too much time on it, you know, or waste too much of your times, guys, on it. Too much. I don't want to waste too much time on this, or I don't want to waste too much of your time on this. I really can't speak today. Anyway, um, as you can see, the edges are kind of jagged. So just you know, we can teach increase the rotation segments i i really do apologize guys i can't believe the way i'm stuttering um so there's that and then um we can just duplicate it move this one a little bit forward like that and um we can just duplicate the keyframes on this one Control c actually wait they've already been duplicated because well i duplicated the disc so we'll just move them forward instead like that. See that? Move this back a little more. Okay, so let's see. Unfolds, those go zooming out. Again, these keyframes aren't right. You'll have to adjust them a little bit. Um, also, you could just set different colors on each real quick. I'll just do like a light greenish color on this one. And then we can make this one blue or actually I guess that's more of like a violet color so there's that okay and then is there anything else I need to cover um oh yeah I, I added in some planes here as well and made them spin Okay, so there's the plane. Go ahead and uh, get ready to keyframe this thing. So I'll do zero, zero. Okay, so these come in. So about right there, I'll have it start. So move forward to about 45 here. Make this 1,000 by 1,000. Whoop. 
and that's not big enough, so we'll do 3,000 by 3,000. There we go. Now keyframe that. Okay. Now we're going to want to rotate it, so you know we got the rotate tool selected. Keyframe. Actually, let's go ahead and rotate it like this. Keyframe. Move ahead. There we go. So as you can see, that rotates it. And then um, we can just duplicate this, offset the keyframes a little bit, and make it this color, I guess. And as you can see, we need to move it a little bit ahead, set a keyframe for it, move it a little bit ahead, set a keyframe for it. There we go. That fixed it. Okay, so that's how I did pretty much everything. Oh, one last thing. On the materials, turn off specular. Tur definitely turn off specular. There we go. Yeah, okay. That's the one, that's one thing I forgot to uh, mention. Turn off specular on the materials. Anyway guys, hope this tutorial has helped you. I think it'll get you on the right track to making some cool 2D animations. And uh, anyway, I'm out of here. Peace.